Hello students, welcome back to study tricks. Today we are going to see the second part of uh, chemical reactions and equations lesson from 10th CBSC textbook. Yesterday in the class we have stopped with what is a balanced chemical equation. Today we are going to learn how to balance an unbalanced equation that is how to balance a crude equation which is given. We have been seeing this example how ferrous reacts with water. Okay. Yeah, we have done up to here yesterday. Ferrous reacting with water gives rise to ferrosoferric oxide plus hydrogen gas. In this, we have seen that the number of atoms of ferrous on the reactant sides and number of atoms of ferrous on the product side are not equal, hence it is not balanced. Now, we will study how to balance this equation. First of all, write the given equation and draw boxes over the molecules so that you, there is no probability of committing a mistake. Because students generally tend to edit in between the molecule. Like if they want to balance oxygen atoms, they tend to write 4 immediately after the oxygen because there are 4 oxygen atoms in the product side. To avoid that, initially draw boxes of the given molecules. Next, observe where you need to balance the equation like ferrous number of atoms of ferrous on the reactant side is 1 number of atoms of hydrogen on the reactant side is 2 and number of oxygens is 1 similarly right number of atoms in the product side fe3 that means 3 ferrous and 4 oxygen atoms and 2 hydrogen atoms now you, by observing this you can Understand that you need to balance this oxygen and ferrous because hydrogen is 2 and 2. First go with the number which has highest difference that is go with oxygen. There are 4 atoms in, in the product side. Now multiply into 4 for the element which have oxygen on the reactant side. Reactant side the only element which have oxygen is water h2o so multiply 4 now what's the equation ferrous plus 4 molecules of water giving rise to ferrosoferric oxide plus hydrogen now once again write the number of atoms on the reactants and the product side initially how many hydrogen are there now 8 because oxygen is balanced check only hydrogen and ferrous how many hydrogen are there now? 8. 4 into 2, 8. In the product side, there are only 2. So, to balance this, we can multiply 2 into 4, 8. So, 4 molecules of H2 should be taken. Now, the equation becomes ferrous plus 4 H2O. This 4 we have got in step 2 while balancing oxygen atoms. And now, 4 H2 depending upon number of hydrogens. Now, after this step, you will see that only ferrous is not balanced. What is the number of ferrous in the reactant side? Only one. Fe plus 4 H2O, no? So, only one ferrous atom. In the product side, there are three. So, what you can do? Multiply into three on the reactant side. The equation now becomes 3 Fe, that is ferrous, plus 4 water molecules giving rise to ferrosoferric oxide plus 4 molecules of hydrogen gas. Now check. This process is very important. Many students tend to commit mistake over here. It seems balanced but there is a probability of committing a mistake. So check the equation now. How many ferrous are there? 3. Water that is in water you need to check individual atom that is hydrogen 8. And on the product side 4 into 2 again 8 so it is balanced like this you need to check this step is very important this is how you balance a given equation now you have got the given equation and the very important thing in balancing equation is always take the nearby multiply multiple that is some students tend to do this whenever there is h2o they multiply higher numbers leaving 4 they multiply 8 8 2 is it becomes 16 again this side also they are multiplying that is not the correct method you should only take the smallest whole number as the coefficient it is clearly given over here the smallest whole number coefficient should be taken now the final step is writing the uh, state like that is whether a uh, solid liquid or aqueous state on both reactants and product side this is not that important it is only important when it is given in the question to mention the physical states we know that ferrous is always solid in normal temperatures so solid plus water is liquid or we will also get it in the gaseous form 
because in this particular reaction we are just sending uh, water in the form of steam so they have uh, written it as gaseous and then Fe3O4 is a solid it is a kind of uh, crystalline powder and hydrogen is again gas. This is not that important when you are representing a normal chemical equation. It is only important when it is mentioned. Similarly, they have given other examples like CO plus 2H2 giving rise to CH3OH. Now, uh, using the above all steps, balance this equation. First of all, let us check whether it is balanced or not. Number of uh, carbon on reactant side is 1 and on product side is also 1. Hydrogen on reactant side are 4 and on also product side are also 4. Like this, whenever you see an equation in any anywhere in the textbook, not only in this particular lesson, practice how to balance so that you will become more perfect. Thank you students. Let's meet in the next session with a new topic that is what are the different types of chemical reactions. We have seen what is a chemical reaction and how to balance a chemical equation and now uh, we'll stop this session here and in the next session we will see what are the types of chemical reactions and what are the properties stay home stay safe don't panic